Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is maybe one of your favorite days because I am doing a fun East Coast versus West Coast style challenge with your favorite Karen Britchick, who is the amazing, fabulous YouTuber, fashion blogger, OG girl in New York. If you've followed me for a while, you saw that I went and filmed with her in New York this summer and we've already done a video like this. I'll link it up here where we did a style challenge kind of, I guess, at the end of summer going into fall and we decided it'd be fun to do another video together all about holiday style. We both are big believers in vintage and thrift and hunting and finding treasures. So we took the challenge, find pieces from thrift stores or vintage shops and to create two looks for holiday parties. A casual, kind of more relaxed holiday party and then more of a fancy holiday party. I went out to an area of town that I love to go. I hit up a few thrift stores. So I hopped around, went hunting. Karen is off in New York doing her hunting. I'm here in California doing my hunting. So you can watch me hunt. You can then go watch her hunt. You can go watch her hunt and then come back and watch me hunt. Whatever you guys wanna do. But I'm about to go hunting, so here we go. I am already in the Goodwill, and I'm gonna start in dresses because I feel like for the fancy look, I would love an amazing over-the-top vintage dress. I just found the coolest dress and a few other options. So here's a few options. Pink can definitely be holiday in how you style it. Cuts up on the side, so it's gonna have a really cool drape, so that's kind of fun. This is, I'm not as excited about, but I just pulled it anyways. I did think it could be cool to pile on a bunch of blue with this and that could be really festive and fun, but I want to show you the, the dress that I just found. I don't know if you can see how amazing this is, but it's shiny kind of metal detail, this really long little point. I When I try it on, you guys are gonna see it's amazing. Okay, just found two other pieces, maybe for the casual look, I'm not sure. It's just a really cute, cozy, um, cropped sweater, which I love the idea of pairing this with like a pleated high waist skirt. That could be really fun and big slouchy boots. I'm not sure about this piece, but I did kind of like all this, um, almost like a, a vintage uh, bedspread vibe going on. It's on the back too. In the pants section, I just found these gold high waist, very silky pants. They could be a fun option. Wide leg, shiny gold, very holiday. I found a few really fabulous things. It's a sheer plaid with puff sleeve detail. Also, skirt suit that looks really cute. Found this old gap stripe shirt and a red blazer. I really they don't have a red blazer and that's kind of crazy. I'm gonna start trying pieces on, then eliminate, and go from there. Red blazer, which I said I don't have. I love how this is one that is double breasted. Military vibe to it. This is interesting. I don't know if I love it. Maybe one of the best pieces I've found in a really long time. Look at the detail of the sleeve, the plaid. This is for sure coming home. I think this could definitely work in one of my looks. I remember these shirts at Gap and they're just really classic. I really like this skirt suit. Wish the skirt was a little shorter. I know I could get it tailored, but it's not a necessity right now. This would have been really pretty. It unfortunately doesn't zip on the side. I said this dress was good. I didn't realize even how good. This is unbelievable. That definitely was a very good day at the Goodwill and I'm in a smaller one that I normally don't go to. I got the white crazy dress, which I feel like that's gonna be my fancy look. I also got that plaid perfection of a shirt. I just recently purchased a designer shirt very similar. And so the fact that I found the vintage version that maybe inspired the designer is 
so much fun. I bought the Gap stripe shirt. I just felt like that's a good staple. Even kind of reminds me of the jacket I'm wearing right now that I'm just going to wear a lot. And maybe I'll end up using that in my cozy holiday party casual look. I don't know. I just bought it because I thought it was fun. And then everything else was fine, but I felt like I could find something more. So right now I'm really on the hunt for more pieces to fill in the casual party look. Head to, hmm... I think I'm gonna head to this little thrift store that often has really good earrings. So I'm gonna go there and see if I can find really great jewelry or great bag. <laughs> So I got these. I feel like they're holiday. I think that will go with that white dress. I'm now going to head to a Salvation Army where I'm hoping I can finish out the more casual outfits. Okay, I'm in the Salvation Army. I've been here for a little while. I didn't have a cart, so I wasn't filming. But I think I'll just show you guys a lot of what I've found in the dressing room. Since I found the cart, I'll show you a few things I just found. This is a very cool sheer kind of romantic Victorian blouse. I love a tight fitting turtleneck. This cranberry color is really fun and it's a really tight knit. And a leopard print. Just found this little sweater. This is so pretty. Found this. It's cute. I don't know if I would end up wearing it, but it's kind of a fun little festo shirt. This is definitely the perfect animal print, leopard print blouse. I don't have anything this perfect. This is so fun. I love the Victorian look of this blouse. I'm always looking for great knit turtlenecks. I love this kind of wine color. I feel like this could definitely work in some holiday looks, maybe even the casual holiday look. I think this is a really cute, more of a navy tweed oversized blazer. This could definitely be a good option. This is the most fun, perfect find. I am always looking for high, high waist denim skirts and I love that this is a camel color and this, even with this turtleneck, is going to be, I think this is going to be my casual holiday look. And I cannot believe that. This are Levi's black gray, already worn in a little bit. Found these, they're even cropped the way I like them. So now I have a few options, I feel like, for the casual look for sure. I love these. I found so much good stuff. There was a time where I got a little concerned because I wasn't finding any bottoms that were working, but then magically appeared that high waist denim skirt and also those Levi 501s. I felt like that opened up all my opportunities for my casual holiday party look. I definitely have my fancy look put together with that dress. Anyways, I cannot wait to style up a few looks. Okay, so you guys saw all the amazing things that I found on my hunting excursion to find pieces for my holiday party looks. Karen, I'm sure, has found so much amazing stuff as well. Ooh, I can't wait to see what she found. I am now about to style up two looks, one casual and one more fancy. Probably already know the fancy look that I'm going to do but I am going to first tackle the casual holiday party look. I have a few pieces, especially from that last thrift store that I think I have a really fun idea. And so I'm gonna create that look. holiday party look all from the finds that I just got on my hunting excursion. You guys saw at the last store I was at Salvation Army I found a bunch of things that ended up in this outfit mainly being I found this amazing cranberry turtleneck that I just love a good ribbed tight turtleneck and then it just with that wine Bordeaux cranberry color it definitely feels very holiday. I cannot believe that I found 
this high waist amazing skirt and then I always love a good oversized blazer with that tweed navy look a perfect pairing the little last minute styling things that I threw in there were my leopard print blouse which I thought I was gonna wear buttoned up and over the churl neck I ended up liking it tight around my waist in more of a relaxed cool way and it just added something different and added another print to the outfit and then I just got a little bit crazy for the holidays and keeping it really fun and festive I did the all red tights with the red shoes. I liked the idea of throwing in the all red on my legs and down to my feet. This look felt perfect for more of a fun casual get together with friends over at a house for a holiday party. We actually have one that we're going to tonight where it's like dressy but still feels casual and relaxed and I feel like I could take off the layers if I needed to because in California we have to do that. And I loved the mix of colors and print. I've got the all red legs and shoes but then when that kind of more wine turtleneck a similar color palette but different and then popping in tweed blazer with the leopard print blouse and tighter on the waist just was something unexpected. So that was my West Coast casual holiday party look and let's move on to the fun and dressy one. <laughs> fancy holiday party look. You guys saw me find this dress. It was just a goner from the minute I saw it. I knew this would be the look that I created. This look is definitely all about the dress. It's just one big crazy amazing statement and then I just threw on a few little accessories. I got the earrings that I found at that other thrift store which normally I probably would have chosen a bigger earring but because I did this crazy big hair I did more of a simple earring but I feel like it pulls in the sparkle that's happening within the dress and then I wore my go-to. I wear these for every fancy thing. I feel like I wear these shoes. They're my sparkly Dolce Vita big platform shoes that I got at Crossroads years ago and I just keep wearing them all the time. Kept my other jewelry really simple and then it was also about this hairstyle. If you guys want I can do an IGTV tutorial on how I did this and it gives it a very cool Studio 54 vibe. That's it. That is the East Coast versus West Coast thrift vintage style challenge with Karen Britchick all holiday party looks. I did that very casual look and then I did this over the top dressy holiday party. I think I may recreate this for New Year's Eve because this feels absolutely perfect for 2019. Wow. Such a fun challenge. I love doing this with you Karen. Thanks so much for doing them with me. I love what we both find in the different places. Right now, if you haven't already, go over to Karen Britchick's channel. Click the link below. I cannot wait to see what she comes up with and what she finds. So go check her channel out, see what she's wearing. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. I have new videos every single Thursday. Don't forget, I will be taking January off. There will be no videos in January, but you can definitely follow me on Instagram. And always play dress up and I'll see you guys later. Bye! Thank you.